it's not. If you compare us to Netflix or HBO or Apple, they have one big global service that they're promoting. We rather have a bunch of different services, different from market to market. Back in 2015, four years ago, I would say that Discovery was not in a great position from a technology point of view. We had some services running on uh, vendor platforms that we generally were not super happy with. We had some services running on our own technology, which we were not either very happy with. So the time uh, was kind of right to start a little bit from scratch. So Sonic was essentially a greenfield project started uh, almost four years ago. And uh, about a year after we started, we launched the first uh, services to market which was uh, D-Play down in Italy and uh, this kid service that I just mentioned. Early last year, we relaunched uh, D-Play here in the Nordics uh, on Sonic. D-Play has existed in the Nordics for a number of years, but it, to be honest, the first years it had a quite bad reputation. It was quite buggy, error prone, lots of uh, complaints. Uh, but we relaunched that and um, I think the, the general perception is, is that it's working a lot better these days. And this year, things have kind of just exploded. We've had a lot of other services on top of Sonic. One of the bigger ones that we've not launched yet that's coming later this year is our first big uh, OTT service in India. It's going to be called D Plus India, and that's, of course, a massive market with a lot of challenges. So another learning is around uh, how you need to be able to support a lot of different uh, mechanisms as you go into different markets. When it comes to authentication, we started off with a typical suspects, username and password-based login. We moved to Facebook-based login. Now we're adding Google and Apple-based login. But then we started getting services that also needed the possibility to log in with your cable provider credentials, affiliate-based uh, login. And when we started working with the Indian market, we learned that a lot of people there, they're extremely mobile-centric, uh, and a lot of them are not... Uh, might not even have an email. Uh, they're not that used to writing with uh, Western-based character sets. So a lot of them just use their mobile phone number as their identity. And to register, they get a one-time password through SMS, and then you're registered on the service. All right, that's it for me. Thank you for listening. Thank you.